only eight miles today with 10 minutes to shake out the legs. All right, let's go. All right, that's the first mile of warm up in 751. I never thought I could shake this heartache until I saw you like Mile two, 801. Here are the average paces for the first five minutes of Bartlick in the dark. for the last five one minute far leg intervals. <laughs> Thanks Cole for getting all of those really great clips during the far leg. I really appreciate that. That's a really big ask and a tough task to accomplish. All right, jogging home at around eight minutes per mile. Feeling good, it's a little humid today though. So we lost a lot of sweat. Did our far leg, our speed play on a dirt track, nice and easy on the legs. And we don't care too much about being a little bit slowed down on the dirt. Just getting used to the speed and the effort level with short one minute versus speed. Hey Evan, what do you think about bulgogi and black bean burritos? Really yummy. Oh, nice and toasty on the outside, crunchy and moist and gooey on the inside. What do you say? Okay. Sweet. Mornings are a challenge because I got to get some really calorie dense food on the table real quick. It'd be okay if I weren't joining the kids on the run, but since I'm with them, I have to really kind of prep everything in advance. I don't like prepping it all in advance because then the kids can't get fresh hot food. So I have to prep things kind of restaurant style. So. I can do a quick cook. <laughs> Look at you guys. Right. It's good to see you guys. Okay, bye, Hyung. If you got any great tips for quick and calorie dense breakfasts that would satisfy the likes of Cole, Hayden, and Evan, then please share them in the comments below. All right, let's get ready for school. Have some breakfast. Let's go, okay? A right. little bit more than nine miles with 10 minutes of speed play to shake out the legs. What a great morning and we're off to school. Mission accomplished. Got Evan off to school on time today. And now, gotta hurry home, get cleaned up, get my workstation all set up so that I can do this interview with the midlife runner, Andrew Pussa. Cause we're going to talk about all things about running during midlife. All right. You can check out the midlife runner's YouTube vlog. You guessed it, at the midlife runner. <laughs> where you can get the 411 on all things running and a good laugh while you're at it. Clever guy, clever guy. Oh, it's been a minute since I've run on the faster side ever since I had my hamstring niggle. Been so nervous about pushing the pace. I'd much rather run a little bit slower during a run or a workout than having to tone things way down for two weeks or 
worse even more possibly. So I'm really grateful that I was able to get a little bit of speed play in this morning, 10 minutes of 5K race pace without putting my old body, my midlife body in jeopardy. Our young buck Cole also had a really great morning. He took a few days off, not taking total days off, but just taking it easy and running only at easy pace with a cap of 11 miles. But he was able to push the pace a little bit this morning and felt really comfortable. So it's good news for him and he's learning how to live with and deal with his Achilles tendonitis. So I'm super happy for him and I'm glad that he's on the mend and get back in good spirits again. <laughs> Today's run was especially good for me because I got a chance to move the legs, shake them out and kind of get a taste for what it feels like to run at a little bit of a faster pace in preparation for tomorrow's giant threshold run when we're going to do some mile intervals. I'm gonna do as many as I can, but we're gonna set a goal out there to get five mile intervals in tomorrow at threshold effort. So 10 minutes of 5K race pace today using fart licks, not getting into VO2 max heart rate zone, just moving the legs. The floats between the one minute intervals really controls the heart rate, keeps it down so that we're not fatigued for tomorrow's giant effort and the limited distance, only 10 minutes, less than two miles of fast running will also keep our legs pretty fresh so that we can get in a good honest effort tomorrow morning. Hey, I wanna say thank you to the best Patreon team in the whole wide world. We really can't do it without all of you. If you haven't heard already, I have a brand new Strava account. You can find me right here at Coach MK. Looking for a daily dose of running motivation? Then check us out on Instagram. Cole does a fine job getting that content out to you daily. Looking for a destination spring marathon? Then search no further. Come join us at the Big Island Marathon in Hilo, Hawaii. Use code ALLHARD for 20% off at registration. I don't think I got enough calories this morning. I think I'm gonna have to get home and have me an ice cream cone before I jump on this call with my good friend, Andrew Putza. I hope you have a great day and a meaningful run. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs> All right. Bye now.